Now we are going to learn about numerals, symbols that are used to denote numbers is called numerals. For example, a symbol like 8 used to write the number 8 is called a numeral. Here, a symbol that are used to denote number. What symbol we are going to denote a number? A symbol like this manamu. Waka number ni denote chil kung kosumu. Yikar use jesta mo. A symbol like manamu matta bade numeral lagda. See, here an example. A symbol like 8. Here, yeah? here 8 is a symbol. We know already numbers here. 8 is a number only. But actually it is a symbol. This symbol used to write the number 8. See, this symbol is used to write number 8. So, it is called as a numeral. Now, we are going to learn about successor and predecessor. First, we know about the, the successor. The successor of a given number is the number just following it. For example, the successor of 13 is 14. The successor of minus 13 is minus 12. The successor of 0 is 1. Another definition of the successor. The successor of a given number is obtained by adding 1 to the given number. For example, 13 plus 1 equals to 14. Minus 13 plus 1 equals to minus 12. 0 plus 1 equals to 1. Here, what is the successor? The successor of a given number is the number. Just following it. Whatever the number is given here. Suppose, here 13 is the given number. Here 13 is the number. Given number. The next two number is 14. 14 is the just following the given number. 13 Taravata immediate 14 was in the 14 is called as a successor of the given number 13. And also, one more example here minus 13 is the given number. So, here minus 13 and Edikra, it's in number 8, number line may choose on the monotama. So, the next to chevet number right side minus 12 and Edi, the next to chevet number. So, just following the given number, your minus 12 is the just following the given number minus 13. So, minus 12 is called the successor of the minus 13. And also one more example, 0 is the given number. Then what is the just following it? 1 is just following. And 0 is immediate number 1. 1 is the just following number. So, here 1 is called the successor of the 0. How to get the successors of the uh, given numbers? One more definition here given. The successor of a given number is obtained by adding 1 to the given number. So, successor of a number allows us to add 1 to the given number. We add 1 to the given number. So, we get the successor of the given number. Here 13 is the given number. 13 is the given number. A 13 number is one way to add the number. The success of the given number is the number. So, 14 is the success of the 13. So, here minus 13 is the given number. So, minus 13 is one way to add the number. Here, we have to add the number. Minus 13 is the success of the number. Minus 13 plus 1, we get minus 12. Then, what is the success of 0? If you add the 1 to the 0, 0 is one way to add the number. Then we get the 1. So, successor of 0 is 1 only. Now, we are going to know about the predecessor. The predecessor of a number is the number just before it. For example, the predecessor of 17 is 16. The predecessor of minus 108 is minus 109. The predecessor of 0 is minus 1. Now, the predecessor of a given number is obtained by subtracting 1 from it. For example, 17 minus 1 equals to 16. Minus 108 minus 1 equals to minus 109. 
0 minus 1 equals to minus 1. See here, the predecessor of a given number is just before the given number. For example, the predecessor of 17 is 16. And here, 16 is the predecessor of the 17. In the case, 16 is just before the 17. And here, 17 is the predecessor of the given number. And here, 16 is the number of the predecessor of the given number. One more example here. The predecessor of minus 108. So here, minus 108 is the given number. What is the just before the given number? Minus 109. So here, minus 109 is the predecessor of the given number. One more example here. 0 is the given number. Minus 1 is the just before the given number 0. So here, minus 1 is the predecessor of the 0. Here, how to get these all predecessors? Before you know that, what is the successor? How to get the successor? When you add the 1 to the given number, we get the successor. But here, when you subtract the 1 from the given number, we get the predecessor of the given number. here. So here, 16 is the predecessor of 17. Then how to get the 16? When you subtract the 1 from the given number, we get the predecessor here. And also one more example here. Here minus 108 is the given number. When you subtract the 1 from the given number, we get the predecessor of the given number. Here minus 109. And also 0 is the given number. So when you subtract the 1 from the 0, we get the minus 1. Here the minus 1 is the predecessor of the given number.